Okay, everyone. Ray is helping me here. We are going to videotape how you can modify your Pokemon Go Plus. So this one is mine, and as you can see, it still lights up and everything, but it automatically clicks for me. And you'll notice mine's a nice sparkly black because I painted it while I had it open. So first thing you're gonna need is just a regular small screwdriver. So to open up the battery in the back. Oh, here comes Isabel. Stay back, Izzy. Okay, so you open it up. Ray, watch what you're doing so you can keep it on the keep it on what I'm okay. doing. So you take out the battery, and then the next thing you do is you need this Y-tipped screwdriver. Oh, this is really hard to do. I'm definitely not a YouTuber. So it's a Y-tip. It's got three prongs on it. Um, it's what Nintendo uses for all their products. Hold it up a little higher, please, Ray. Okay, so you take out the three screws in the back. Don't lose those. So once you got those out, Isabel, please leave that alone. Give me back my battery. Thank you. Which this works good because I need to replace my battery too. Okay, Izzy, no, no, no. No, 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 no. please don't, Isabel. Okay, so I've got that out. So it just comes apart here. You see you've got your black casing. You've got your gusset for weatherproofing, I guess. I wouldn't get mine wet though. And then you got your circuit board here. You can pull that out. And mine's already modified. So, and you got your little button there. You'll notice mine's black because I hate how bright it is. Anyways, but you could paint that if you wanted to um, while you have that off. So mine's already modified, but I'm gonna show you how to modify it on this one here. Isabel, no. Okay, off the table. Okay, so this is what you have on your back side. You have your vibration motor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the input from the vibration motor to trigger the switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and first cut off the power to the vibration motor, which is this white wire. You cut that off right at the circuit. You don't leave any kind of, sorry for the crying, you don't leave any kind of tail. So you got that cut off. And then I'm going to cut off this black, but I'm going to leave quite a bit of tail on that so that I can connect this to the circuit. So I'm cutting that off. You making sure you get this all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's your vibration motor. You don't need that anymore. So this is what you're left with. Okay, you can have the vibration motor. Let her have don't that. Don't eat it, boo. Okay, don't eat it. So, so this is. Um, so now you got this black wire, and then you need to strip it just a little bit. She can have that battery. I need to replace mine anyways. So you need to strip it any, um, a little bit, and you see I'm just taking off the end. So I have this, I don't know how good you can see this. Here, let me see here for a second. Oh. Tried to do this on white, um, trying to get it to focus, sorry. But I stripped it some. Sorry, it's hard to focus, I'm sure. Okay, back up please, Isabel. Um, okay, well anyways, I stripped it. Why won't this focus? I'm sorry, you guys, I'm all wish-washy. Here because I'm not a youtuber I don't know what I, oh there we go it's focusing okay so my wire is stripped my white is cut off now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the end of this black wire under the circuit board into along the Mama. top here Mama. of this push button switch so this is the connection point right here no, 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 that you no. want to be touching. And I do this without soldering. I'm sorry, everyone. This is going to be really loud. Take her in the other room. Go play. Go watch Boss Baby. Brief pause. <laughs> I have four children, if you didn't know. Okay. Um, Jalen, you want to come videotape for me? Come stand up on the table or sit up on the table. Just make sure you keep your, hold it like right like this. There you go. Okay, so now Jalen's helping. Okay, so I've got the circuit now. And what I do is I very carefully lift this corner here. And having these tweezers that are really pointy is very helpful. Um, otherwise, I mean, you can try to do it with your nail. I've done it with my nails. It's just harder. Um, don't worry about it. Isabel Joyce. So you lift this corner and then you, and I'm not sure how good you can see, but underneath that switch is the connection point um, for 
that complete the circuit to trigger the Pokemon Go Plus. So I just take and slide, try to make sure you're getting this really good, Isabel, or Jadelon. I just take and slide this wire. Jadelon, pay attention, please. I am. And I put it right on that connection point underneath. It's back down. Push that back down. Izzy, Isabel, come on. No. No. Okay, so now, I'm sorry, everyone. This is my life. <laughs> no, Izzy. Okay, so I've got it underneath there now, and sometimes you have to readjust that a bit because you won't get the connection good. And I just take some of this black goobly gop that they have up here covering up some of the other electrical things, and I use that to hold my wire in place so it's not bouncing around or anything. And I haven't really had too many issues with it ever disconnecting. Um, but if you do, you can just readjust that wire and I kind of readjust it just before I close it up. So the point that you're looking for is along this top edge underneath. That's how you're going to, you're going to use this input from the vibration. So every time it triggers the vibration motor, it's going to complete the circuit and act like you push the button. So your button still works, but yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to switch this one out and put it on mine. So, well, I'll just put mine back together. Okay, so when you're done, that's done then. So you take this completed one, which you'll see this one is mine, completed one. Isabel, please stop. Stop. Ray, please take Isabel into her room. I'm in the paper. You need to be... Get up here. Come here, Ray. Jaylen, come stand. I'm so sorry, you guys. No, come here, Jay. Jay Bunk, right here. And hold this here. I'm so sorry. This is going to be a jumbled video. Anyways, so when you assemble it back together, once again, mine's painted. Yours won't look like this. Theirs will be all clear, but I just don't like the bright light. So that's why mine's painted. Okay, so you put your button back down and the little push thing. And as you can see, there's some of my paint. I just use like testers, one coat lacquer if you did want to customize and paint yours. That's what you could use. Okay, so you got your push button down, and then the you'll want the battery part up, and it spits into this. It's got the little guides on there. You make sure you get it right back on those guides, like that. And then next, put your weather seal back inside here. It fits in. There's a little crevice there that it'll fit in. And then you flip that over, and you mash those two together. See how nicely that works? And you take your Y-tip screwdriver and you put your screws back in the three spots. So there's one. I'm so sorry for all the noise and chaos. There's two. And here's the third one. Three. And then you put your battery back in, which I'm actually going to replace mine because I have the low battery indicator on my app showing up so let's see here I've got one over here so it's just these push button batteries so I'm gonna stick that on there and you put the plus side up so the negative goes down plus side up push that back in there and then you put your cover back on it's got a little catch there and you use your regular Phillips head to screw that back on and voila, you're done. So, if you haven't paired it, you pair it with your device. If you don't know how to do that, look at your little manual that came with it. It's not very hard. But then it should auto catch after that. So, what that means is when you go to pair it with, when you turn on your app and um, you go into the app and you click the little Pokemon Go Plus, it, you will still have to press the button the first time so that it'll connect. And then after that, you won't have to press the button anymore. Now it will, it will doesn't speed it up, it doesn't do any of that kind of stuff, doesn't improve your catch rate. All it does is auto clicks for you. So every time it triggers that vibration motor, it's clicking. So anytime it would have vibrated before, it's pressing the button in theory. So if it's not working for some reason and it's not auto clicking, then you just need to go back in and readjust the wire. I've had to do that on a couple different ones, a couple different times. Sometimes they're just finicky and you just do that and you get it all situated. 
Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, um, you can find me on the Traverse City's Pokemon Go Club page or on the Pokemon Go raid page for Traverse City. I'm one of the admins. I'm easy to find on the raid page. Um, and you can message me or if you know me, you can see me in town and I can do it for you. I don't charge to do it. So hopefully this video was helpful and understandable. I am sorry about the chaos. Once again, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not good at taking videos. So I'm sorry you probably got seasick watching my video. Thanks. Bye-bye.